the fight the faith I don't look away I don't run away facing all of my guys up in up tech here so if you haven't yet updated to iOS 17 or if your device doesn't support iOS 17 I'll be happy to let you know that a number of updates have just been released today as we speak and among those is iOS 16.7 now iOS 16.7 is supported on the iPhone 8 and newer so if you have a device that hasn't yet been updated to iOS 17 even though it's supported you will still be able to see the two updates for example on this iPhone XS if we go into the software update pane here you can see iOS 16.7 and for me this update comes in at exactly 302 megabytes but like I was saying you see here we also available updates under this page we have the option to upgrade to ios 17 and if you click there you notice ios 17.0.1 that is the latest update available and you can learn more about this update and the many new features ios 17.0.1 brings and the reason i'm able to see both updates ios 16.7 and ios 17.0.1 is because if we go to the software update of this phone we are still on ios 16.6 if you want to update to iOS 17 and you've been on the beta, keep in mind that you need to switch off your beta updates in order to see iOS 17. This is not all that Apple released today. In fact, if we go to the Apple operating system page, you can see they released iOS 17.0.1, iPadOS 17.0.1, macOS 14 RC2, and watchOS 10.0.1 those are the newer updates and for older devices or people that don't want to jump on the newer updates just yet they released watchOS or rather iOS 16.7 iPadOS 16.7 watchOS 9.6.3 those are the updates that have just been released today and I do cover most of them here on the channel so if you want to stay up to date and know what your device does or is capable of all thanks to software definitely hit that subscribe and then you won't miss out. Now our device is up to date so if we go into settings and go to where it says general right here and go to software update we are up to date with iOS 16 which is the current iOS 16.7 however when it comes to iOS 17 you can see the update is also available under also available update pay now if we go back and go to the about you can see the build number that we have with ios 16.7 it's 20h19 that's as far as software wise now when it comes to what's new with this update apple basically said on the release page if you go to the pictures you will see that this update provides important bug fixes and security updates and is recommended for all users that's basically to tell you that there isn't much going on in the os and then you can see the size there isn't much typically going on when it's that small but a few things that i have to mention is that this update provides important canal updates if you have older devices so the first one that I want to show you here, if you open up Safari and go to this page, it's the Apple security releases. It's public, uh, publicly available. And if you go to the iOS page, you can see iOS and iPadOS 16.7. And the canal issue that I'm talking about is actually listed here. And it's under common vulnerabilities and exposure entries. And here it mentions that an impact a local attacker may be able to elevate their privileges apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been ac actively exploited against version of ios before 16.7 so if you haven't yet updated to ios 17 and or you are on ios 16 which is before ios 16.7 then you may be affected with this canal issue and canal is usually a bug or an attack that affects the core device which can then spread to your other devices like if you have an apple watch or something else that's linked it could go on to that and something else that i wanted to highlight if you update and then 
since we've got new updates to safari the storage there's now six terabytes and 12 terabyte subscription that people can subscribe to you see some new terms and conditions and before you back up your device you would have to go and agree to these terms and condition under settings and safari so that's something to mention now also there's an update when it comes to security again so if we go under this section you see security where it says a malicious app may be able to bypass signature validation apple is a way of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited so this one is also quite a serious one because usually when apps are communicating with each other or with servers there's a handshake protocol that they are supposed to follow but then it's bypassing that so if you are on an ios that's before ios 16.7 and you have a device that's already on ios 16 at least try and update to ios 16.7 and keep updating for the security reason and then when it comes to webkit which is usually internet safari and connectivity you can see here the issue that has been patched here has to do with uh, processing web content may lead to arbitrary code execution and the impact is the issue was addressed with improved checks and shout out to these guys who reported this so basically as you can see this update doesn't really have much going on it's more of a bug fix and the security update and when it comes to overall device i really can tell a difference between this and the previous one so if i was to go back um i'll show you my battery health because it's pretty bad so I, I i don't use it on a daily you can see it actually says service it's on 75 percent as you can see right there and overall device functionality and connectivity just seems normal so this is the update shout out to the iphone x i know it won't be getting ios 17 but it's one of my favorite iphones because it introduced face id and it was the first notch phone but unfortunately it's now stuck on ios 16.7 and whatever consecutive ios 16 point point that might come out so that's about it for me if you like this video you know what to do just leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace Drunk and I'm flexing, I'm lady, cause life is a blessing I'm currently counting my blessing, ascending for heavens I'm headed away from the universe, I'm coming back, not as human thing Came to the touch, I'm a sinner, but not a beginner Though every day is a beginning, I'm critically breathing I'm dusty, I'm kicking my inches, you nasty I spit on your thinking that life isn't deeper You looking a lot like your people, you